Hello my friends, I'm Frosty the Gamer and today we're going to be doing some Car Mechanics Simulator 2015 because we have the 2015 Performance DLC. It's going to be fun, I already have this car fitted and ready to go for the supercharged. However, I'm upset about the way the mod works this game because as soon as you swap the motor, it puts it in so you have to strip it back down if you want to do a complete rebuild so as you can see I have everything needed including for that little Bel Air so I have everything here needed for the supercharger I don't have to buy anything which kind of makes it a little bit annoying in my opinion they did this DLC wrong they should have been able to have it so when you swap the motor you either get some of the components or all the components but outside of the car you shouldn't have to restrip it because that kind of takes away the enjoyment out of it because I like the idea of completely stripping the motor down or the car down all the way to the fr the body and even the frame really and then just rebuilding it from there kind of like a complete restoration that's exactly what I'm doing with this one since you cannot do a swap in this one now what they should have done in my opinion now this is a sort of review video guys more than a gameplay though there'll be more gameplay than review is they should have had it so you could swap it out but all it does is get the core ready to go and you can only do the swap when the motor is completely down to the block itself or pulled out and then what they should have done is allow you to select which stages it's in click it and then what three stages empty which is how it is now built which would have a let me go over here would have a motor hoist right here or somewhere in the whole building that has the complete motor or at least just the block and all of the parts in your inventory that way you can put them all together and then you can hit move motor and then it mounts it into this and then you can just lift it put everything else that you need to go and then you're good to go or installed which is you click it and you click it and another shop does it for you but that makes no sense since we're our own little shop here but without further ado let's go ahead and piece this motor together and see how the performance of it really is Now the reason why I say that I'm kind of disappointed the way this is, is because I stripped this motor down, the stock one. I stripped it all the way down hoping that I could just set it up to put the supercharger parts onto a new block. And unfortunately, it didn't work that way. In fact, it completely put in a whole new motor and it actually kind of upset me. And I was like, well that's kind of pointless because then I had to completely strip down the supercharge and that just kind of took it away from me and it just i almost actually didn't do this video because of that really i mean i like the idea of having performance dlcs i really like the idea of building up motors but that's the thing i want to build them up i don't want them already installed for me and that's where they kind of screwed up because a lot of people are going to get upset with that and honestly they really need to have an engine an engine hoist or some kind of engine stand that you can put your motor on and you can build it up and then have it move to the car because honestly a lot of people build their motors outside of the car and then put it in because like right now I could build the motor right here get it all together except for the transmission and then I could just put the transmission on it and be good to go but unfortunately that's not how they did it but as you can see here this makes it way too easy I could have sold the parts and purchased them myself but I figured for the video to kind of let you guys see what it's like to put together a supercharger rather than a regular v8 let's back up real quick because i have i have many of these okay just want to make sure they weren't different
Now, I have tried out the Echo. The, uh, I think it's Cobra Echo that they have. And it is a really good car. I love the look of it. The design of it is really well done. However, I have it at a thousand and some odd horsepower, which I like. I, uh, it's a stock 900 horsepower when you do the, um, when you do the supercharger or the turbocharger that it has. And then I put it into the dyno shop just to, just to see how similar the dyno shop is to 2014. And in my opinion, I like it, but there's a little bit more to be desired. I haven't really messed with the carbureted because that's all fuel injected. And this, however, is not fuel injected. So we're going to get to see how to tune a carburetor. This is going to be my first time doing it. So you guys will have to bear with me as I suck. However, I did notice that the kind of characteristics are the same as 2014 in the dyno shop. So I kind of know how to get a decent little um, base going for the tune. Not the best though, I will admit that. Definitely not the best. Now if you guys would like to see a full rebuild from stripping it down to putting in a new motor, it won't be a turbocharged or supercharged or anything like that because then it kind of gets pointless. Um, because the reason why I say that is because you get a brand new motor with 100% parts and essentially you just have to just take it apart and put it back together. Which, I, again, I feel is really bad. I don't like that idea at all. And because of that, I'm actually going to really say that they dropped the ball on this DLC. Because, I, as you guys know, on my website, I have a review of the base game itself. I really love this game. It's possibly one of my, not my favorites, but it's up there. It, it's enjoyable. Anyone who knows cars can get in here and do it. And anyone who doesn't, well, they can sit down and learn. Now, the issue being... There's a lot left to be desired, and with this DLC, this kind of shows it. I mean, they added a lot, yes, but they dropped the ball on how they did this, because, honestly, everyone who gets this game, look how close that is to that bar, Jesus. Now, anyone who gets this game is going to want to pretty much build their own shop. Like, that car over there, that's going to be a complete rebuild. I'm going to fix it all up and just you know from top to bottom and enjoy it. i mean i have everything out of that car except for the front cross member and the motor because i put that back in because i wanted to get re-familiar with this game before i did another video but if you guys would like to see this be a reoccurring thing please let me know and i'll more than happy i'll more than happily do that for you i'm gonna keep those off for now because i still got some more to put together oops i'm taking things apart i should probably stop that Let's get down here. Get the time and chain and everything like that. Get the time and cover on there so we can get the rest of the pulleys on. Now I have some decent time into this game. It's it's an enjoyable game. However, as you can see in the top right, I don't exactly have the career aspect going on this is this is a an account that i have strictly to try this out um i i figured that'd be the best that way i didn't have to worry about money and doing a couple jobs to get there because this dlc is not about the jobs it's all about what's new in the performance dlc and though this car is not new in this dlc i will show you one of the cars that are and it's it's a good it's a good one i'll tell you that it's a beautiful looking car i, I can't quite you know, can't quite decide what type of um, car it kind of reflects. It looks like a Dodge Viper, uh, but it has some other characteristics. And it's just, it's kind of hard to tell, really. And since I have everything else in this car, we're actually going to take this to the dyno. And then I'm going to worry about all the suspension parts, possibly in another video. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this one yet. I'm going to go ahead and put the radiator in. I'm gonna have to get a new battery. Yes, I do. Okay. Can I get a uh, performance battery? Nope. Okay. Tuner shop. Nope. Butter part. Okay. So we do have to get. Alright, so we will have to get the transmission and everything like that. Let's put the battery. I should have the brake servo. Yep. 
And then, let's see, from here, can I do this without breaking anything? Alright, they don't have a break servo. Alright, cool, I didn't break nothing. Let's go ahead and put these on. Put the air scoop on. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna take this hood off. Alright. So, let's see here. Do we need anything else on this motor? The motor itself is fine. So we can go ahead and lift this. Now we're gonna have to put oil into the motor before we do anything. Uh, I'm probably gonna forget that and it's gonna be hilarious. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the crankshaft bearing caps on. I've done so many motors, I know this game. <laughs> So it looks like that's everything down here. Even though I've done this a lot, you still forget. Let's see if there's a performance flywheel. Nothing here. Ooh. Do I have the alternator on the motor? We'll have to check that out here in a second. Nope, those are stock clutch plates. Let's not worry about those. I'm going to buy these just in case. Ooh. Wait a minute. We might we might be stripping this thing down again. Yeah, we're going to be strip we're going to be stripping this thing down because I just noticed all of these flywheel. Let's buy that see if that helps us at all. 560 SCC fuel pump. Fuel filter. Let's go ahead and buy that. So I know we're going to need that. Fuel pump, we're going to put that in there. Ignition coil. So let's go ahead and just buy these. We're going to replace... We're going to replace our stock ones. And, oh my, 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 my voice. Our steering pump. Look at this. Pissing with con. Look at that. Okay. Okay, so you do just get the stock parts, but that's fine. I think they're, yeah, I think these are, I think I could get this one. I'm going to buy one of those first. Total V8, turbocharger. I don't think I have a turbocharger on this one. All right, so let's go ahead and get this clutch plate on. Er, let's back it up, guys. Let's get this flywheel off and see if I can put this one on here. Yes, I can. Optional part. Optional part. There we go. Now we're going to be adding some horses to this baby. Which means I have to go back and do this with the other car, the Echo, and see if I can push any more horsepower out of this. Let's do gearbox. Okay, exhaust, brakes, running gear, engine. Look at this. I got I to put different camshafts in here. Ooh. Did I already buy this? I don't know. I have a lot of money, so I bought the wrong head. Fodge! Okay, carburetor, two barrel side draft. I'm not quite sure if I need that one, but I'm gonna buy it anyways because I know it says two carbs. The alternator, I'm gonna buy that anywho's. Air filter, I'm gonna buy that anywho's. I just buy everything in here. I think I already bought those. I'm not sure, but we're gonna be we're gonna be completely rebuilding this. Wish we could have gotten a uh, performance transmission, but but that's no problem. All right, so there's no. Is there a performance starter? I don't remember. Nope. Okay. All right. So now we're getting into the nitty gritty of this, guys. You, as I figure this out, you guys will figure this out because I'm gonna be honest with you. I know nothing about this. Go to get the drive shaft on here because we're already done with the transmission, and I want to get this thing ready to rumble as soon as possible. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this oil pan here. Now, if you guys would like to see me restore another car, please let me know what exactly you guys would want me to do. Let's see, let's do AC. 
because I got the can't let's see I, I just want to make sure what exactly where's the cam where's the cam where's the cam okay so I got a camshaft v8 crankshaft v8 I have more than one of these though so okay so let's see here I'm gonna go ahead and sell this I almost sold everything ignition coil ignition distributor fuel filter ignition wire so I got pistons and a camshaft I got to put in. I believe that's what it is. I don't got to do none of this. However, I do have to drop this and strip the motor down. Yep, that's right. I don't have a, uh, this is the only filter that I have. Okay. Oh, nope. There are scoop air filters. Let's see here. Go back into performance. Engine. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Okay, so they don't have a scoop one. Okay, no problem. No problem. I'm just learning as we go, guys. Don't worry about this. Let's go ahead and strip down. We gotta strip it all the way. I'm gonna strip it all the way down to the intake, guys, even though I don't have to. Let me see if I can get carbs. Are there performance carbs? How are there not performance carburetors? Oh, there are. I'm an idiot. Alright. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out later. I think that's for another type of vehicle. Alright, I don't need this. I don't have a performance intake. Yeah, they don't have a supercharger intake. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, because this is different. This is different than the other one. I got eight already. See, this is why you look before you do anything. See, there we go. That's beauty. That is beauty right there. We don't, none, none of that, none of that. This is beauty right here, guys. I wish I would have known this before, though. But that's the fun part of this game. You learn as you go. Let's go ahead and get these nasty little covers off. I do actually have to take the, um, I do have to, have to take everything off. Okay, that's right. I have pistons. I forgot all about that. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward you guys till I got these off. One thing I've been deciding or thinking about guys is doing actual videos on expert mode. Not necessarily jobs, but just rebuilding cars in expert mode. I think that, yeah, okay, good. I did have to take this off. All right, I'm glad I'm not just OCD. The one thing I always loved and hated about this game is the damn clips. It's a nice touch, but God, is it annoying. Don't change it. Don't change it, Playway. I'm just saying. I haven't changed the wheels yet because, like I said, I'm going to do the rest of the restoration later on. I just kind of wanted to get in here and look at the motor aspect of it. Oh, wow. There it is. There's one of them. Okay, there's the other. It took me a second. I was like, where is this? I know it's somewhere around here. Bring it down. I just remembered I have um, the camshaft to throw in there. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that without taking the transmission off. If I got to take the transmission off, I'm not really going to worry about it. You know what, radiator? Get out of here. If I have to take the transmission off to get to the camshaft, I'm not going to put it in. But I don't believe I do. So if I'm not mistaken, it should be it should pull right out. Yep. Oh, they're both the same. Fantastic. Was it the crankshaft I bought? <laughs> cam, cam, cam. Camshaft, V8. I'm gonna buy one more. Because <laughs> I think these are different. Yep, okay. Never mind on this one, guys. Wait a minute. I'm gonna be so mad. Please don't, please don't tell me. Please don't tell me I did all this for no reason. Overhead valve is of more performance. Oh, thank God. Whew. I was going to say, these are usually the higher performance motor than just a regular V8. Like, why are you doing this? 
All right, so that's good. Let's pull these pistons. Oops, there we go, better angle. Pull these damn pistons, get them out of here. Now it's time to put in the performance. I've always been a fan of these fastbacks, to be quite honest with you, and that's exactly why I picked this as my first video. Um, what I want to do, guys, is I want to actually have it have three versions of these cars. I want to completely rebuild all of them. I want from I'm talking like motor all the way to the back end. I want to have the one carburetor, the two carburetor, and then the super super. Then I want the super charger. I want the supercharger part. Mainly because I love these cars and I feel like I, I just I just love these cars. But if you guys have any other suggestions, I will listen most definitely. And I will consider everything because I absolutely love this game and I want a reason to play it more. Unfortunately, I haven't picked it up in such a long time. But I do want to keep playing it. So we're almost back to getting this car ready to go. Let's get this performance head on here. Looks like I gotta buy another one. I believe that's the right one. Yep. Like, why is the overhead valves getting less horsepower bonuses? Am I am I backwards on this? I know dual overhead cam is the best. But what's with the overhead valves? Are those? I mean, what's the difference in those? I can't believe I actually don't know that. See, I really wish they had a uh, lifter, uh, aftermarket lifters. That'd be nice. I would love, I would love for that to change the sound of the vehicle. Roller rockers. <laughs> Aren't there performance head covers? How is there not a performance supercharger? I mean, like, what up with it? I don't know. There's a lot left to be desired by this game, but the good thing about Playway is they're updating it. And they're actually relatively cheaper than normal DLC. Like, this was $4 for me because it was on 20% sale, which is why I went ahead and jumped on it. And it wasn't really a bad purchase for what, for what it's worth. It's really not that bad. It's just, like I said, they dropped the ball on the engine swapping. I really wish that they in implemented the <clears throat> my voice. I really wish they implemented the um engine stand and engine hoist that way we can do it outside of the vehicle and everything like that because the performance shops it's just they do a lot of the work outside of the motor. And honestly, that opens up just engine work because as a performance shop, people can bring in just their motors and you put it on the stand and we can build it up for them we can strip it all the way down you know if they want a supercharger we could take the v8 block 
and then just bring it build it all the way up but then that comes into a, an issue with i think what they're having is each vehicle calls for a certain part and if your vehicle doesn't you know if the if that motor doesn't call for that part you can't put it on which in my opinion is a really big limitation they need to figure out a way to fix that so that each part fits onto like say this supercharger intake fits onto the overhead block itself instead of just like this certain it's just weird how they do it and really they're dropping the ball on it and they really need to get that going because once they do that this game is going to be one of the best out there i mean yeah it's ahead of the rest because there's really no other me mechanic type games that are this involved but that doesn't change the fact that there could be and if player really sets themselves up and are presented in this type of field once they release a game they're going to get the first looks because of the fact that they are so prestigious already and yes they're already halfway there but there's so much that they could do they could do on this game and the thing is that this game really isn't that intensive i mean yeah i have a 980 and i'm at 130 fps right now but that's because I have it on Ultra. And that's just me. I, I, I like the eye candy. But there's really not much eye candy to go on on a car mechanic sim. I mean, because look, look how shiny that is. That's that's the best that we get. Minus when we're out in the field. But really, then it's up to the person's computer. It's not that it's not that demanding, really. The game isn't. So they could put a lot more work into it. Then it just comes down to code limitation. And that's where they need to optimize it. Alright, so we got everything but the exhaust, but that's no problem. Drive shaft's in there. Let me go ahead and make sure that I can move this center. Alright, fantastic. So it's in the center because I, once you can move it around, once everything's together, you, sh you can move it around as long as there's power to the drive shaft and everything like that. So let's go ahead and put the oil in. Wow, okay, I guess I was wrong. I forgot to put the oil pan back on. Ding! I'm an idiot, guys. You don't have to tell me. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it is as long as there is power to the drive. To the, to the rear end. That, uh, that way, I guess you can... Wow, I really dropped the ball. I feel bad for whoever this car was going to go to. <laughs> That's the thing about this game. You think you got it all, and then you don't. And you're like, wait a minute. Alright, so that should be it. As long as the motor's in peace and, and there's power to the rear wheels, we should be able to get it into the dyno. Let's go ahead and add some oil. Alright, so we're golden. Kind of kind of high, you know, put it up high. We're going to go ahead and... Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and replace that fuel tank. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and put on new rims to the back, and I put the aftermarket fuel uh, fuel pump into the tank. That way, we can have all the parts that we need. Let's go see if we can get into the dyno. Incomplete front exhaust pipe, V8. Okay, so that answers that question. Let's go ahead and get the thing up, and let's see if there's any performance ones that I can put on. Ah, the exhaust manifold. That's what I forgot to put on. I am a dunce. Ooh, buddy, I'm a dunce. Do I even have them on there yet? Oh, I do have them on. Okay. So I guess I just got to put this in. So let's go ahead and pop this up. Yeah, because I believe that is the... I believe that's the stock exhaust right there. I don't think that's performance. Yeah, okay. That was right. All right middle muffler. Fantastic. Right, now what do we need rear yes look at that i'm getting there guys i'm learning as time goes on all right so now we should be able to get it onto the dyno and like i said guys i put those on that way if there is any integrity issues it doesn't affect the performance and we'll probably get a little bit more out of it once we re rebuild the rear end 
but for now I just want to get this onto the dyno we're gonna pull up a straight test without adjusting any of it let's see how this test run is All right, so as it sits, we have 570 horsepower. Okay, that's what I thought. Carburetor tuning. Ooh, okay. Nope, let's not do that. I'm shooting for as high of a gain as I can here. Okay. Now the thing about this is it's actually really confusing if you don't know what you're doing. And I don't know what I'm doing. So you just kind of got to match all of them up into an even line. Which is fine. Okay, so those are... Air fuel ratio not optimal. There we go. What? How is that not optimal? Right, let's go ahead and test run it. Alright, so we gained quite a bit of horsepower on that. We got like 14%. Can we actually tune it more? We got 18%. Air fuel ratio not optimal. But that's fine. We're really not even doing much on this. Let's go ahead and eat. Write that again. See if we can get it to a consistent. Yep, 645 horsepower. So, guys, that is how we do here in the Frosty Motors. No, I'm just kidding. I just thought of that name. Not really. I've been using that for decades. <coughs> All right, guys. So, this is the performance build of the fast back I don't know what you guys want if you guys want me to finish completely rebuilding this thing I would be more than happy to do that I plan to um, eventually slowly do it outside of the videos but if you guys want to see it done in the videos let me know I'll be more than happy to completely rebuild this I'll strip it down on on camera and everything like that and then that's gonna be done here shortly off of camera and I'll give you guys a blast on that but again, pals, thank you so much for your time. If you liked it, you know what to do. And if you don't, YouTube has this like, share, comment thing down below. Which you can figure it out if you wanted to. And if you didn't like it, guys, I am sorry. I'm trying my best. And in conclusion, guys, this is an alright little DLC. A lot left to be desired, like I've stated. But all in all, it's definitely worth the money. But just know that if you do an engine swap, it'll completely just put the whole motor in for you. But again, thank you, pals, so much. And I hope to see you guys again real soon, hopefully here in the next episode.